So a common ask with Anchor is, does Anchor scan for malware? And the answer is absolutely yes. So uh, Anchor does scan for malware. It's automatic within uh, Anchor. So whenever you do an Anchor scan for images, you're going to get uh, you know, a full policy output. Let's switch up the policy. Um, you're going to get a full policy output. You're going to get a list of vulnerabilities. So vulnerabilities are really great. Uh, it's it's just a a simple package match though. So they're good in terms of compliance. Like a lot of organizations really just need to track vulnerabilities against all their images and S bombs and things like that. And it's good for cataloging purposes in case uh, a zero day does occur. Um, but you're also going to get your S bomb and your image metadata uh, as well. And part of that S bomb includes a malware check. So it's going to check for uh, you know, a specific piece of malware. So if we go here, we can actually look uh, for that specific file that was specified in your malware checks, which we find right here. And then we can go ahead and look at our policy check that we built uh, in order to go hunt for this specific piece of malware that we found right here. So we could actually copy this. Uh, so what we're going to do is just update. I have a little template here. Um, I'm going to change this name to XM rig check because it's more accurate. Um, just going to refresh this. Then I'm going to change that because that's what uh, the mode was set to on the file. And the way I created this was just going to my policy and creating uh, a check by going to the files gate. And under the files gate, you could check for an attribute match on any file that was indexed by Anchor. So we'll go ahead and hit save, apply, save and close. So we'll go ahead and look at that image again and see what our policy evaluation says against that one specific image. So you could see it failed for that specific check that we created. And we know it's from that specific check because it says uh, under that specific gate, the specific trigger, then it's looking for that specific checksum on that malware. And then also that mode, uh, you know, in that in that path as well. So again, that all came from the malware detection in the S bomb, where we were able to grab the malware location, and then create a policy check, uh, you know, around finding that within within our S bomb right here, right. So you could actually just take the SHA from the malware check as well before we did the path. And we looked for it that way and that brought it up and you could just do it by finding the shaw and then creating a policy check around that under the policy tab right here um and then what's really cool is you know you could come in and even add things uh like a description or recommendation if you wanted to um to tell users <clears throat> you know give users better feedback on what their next step should be uh, if there's malware detected or if they have a misconfiguration or something like that. But, you know, to answer the popular question, yes, of course, we do scan for malware um, and uh, it applies to all your images uh, that you scan with Anchor. You just have to make sure that malware scanning is enabled by default on your cluster when you deploy Anchor. All right, that is it for today.